Hello, I'm a basket of delicious cabbages. And welcome back to Kingdoms Reborn. <laughs> so we're still in the same game as before. Uh, I just took a nap with the game open, so we're gonna find out if the game has any memory leaks. So that's fun for us. And uh, yeah, we are right where we left off. We've been experiencing some lovely growth. We do have some problems. We know we have no laborer to gather and haul, so we actually need to do some more growth. Uh, but other than that, we're right where we left off. Which for you is going to be easier to know for, than me, because I just took a nap. And you know what happens when you take a nap? Your RAM gets deleted, and you have no idea what you were doing before. Uh, okay, so we're building a farm here. We're extending this. That's fun. And we're also... I love our little bonus side village here. We are approaching it, so it's soon going to just become part of the, the main conglomerate. It does seem like we're the biggest civilization out there. I don't know if that's good or bad. Usually you'd think this is good, but you never know. Maybe we're overextending with our growth. I do want to see what happens if we have three wild cards. We have three seconds, we're gonna find out. It said if we have two or, or more of a thing, it gets deleted. But maybe with the wild cards, it doesn't count. Which would be very useful. Um, okay, so... Uh, let's just, oh yeah, we were, we discovered the ability to build bridges and we haven't decided whether we want to bridge over here or over there. Now, I do think I want to go over there because it's closer and I just want to see if reaching the land is going to actually give us the ability to farm cocoa or if that's something we'll have to discover on our own. Um... Makes this expansion very costly though. Okay. I didn't know that. We could stay in the woods. Oh, cross river. It costs more. Oh. Ooh, cannabis. Okay. That's interesting. We could also go over here because there's coal. And I bet we could use coal for something. And then iron ore. But I do want to do the bridge as promised. So you know what? We're going to get some bonus money. We're going to trade some stuff away. And then we're going to go in there. Uh, we do have a lot of med medicinal herbs now. So I think now is the time where we sell medicine to the world. Did I just buy... Oh shit. I just bought all that medicine. Hmm... Yes. <laughs> well, you know what? That's what happens when you take a nap. Hmm. Should I load? Yes. <laughs> well, you know what? It happens. That's, um, beautiful mistakes caught live on camera oh look it looks so pretty now it does also feel like it might run a little bit better i don't know there might be my release i don't know i've maybe it's just me okay so we bought this uh we're literally right where we left off we didn't do anything luckily so loading didn't really cost us anything other than you know not buying a bunch of stuff that we have a ton of uh, okay, so, oh, we're also building a second beer brewery, right, oh, yeah, now I remember, so we were talking about adding more furniture workshops, too, because I think that could be our specialty, because we're very woodsy, we're very woodsy, um, and so we could easily move into, um, are these, oh, these are, like, these are flowers. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I think it's, it's the right decision to jump over here. Alright. Now we sell. We do not buy. 
lovely. Lovely. Man, the, the margin on that is pretty wild, too. Okay, look at all that money. So much money. So much money. Uh, we're making pottery. We're making furniture. We're making beer. Those are like the three luxuries we're currently producing. I am really enjoying the music of this game. I feel like I've said this a million times, but... When it's right, it's right. And when it's true, it's true. We really need to work on these immigrants. Um... Let's see... Oh, we need bricks. We need to discover how bricks are made. That's one thing we need to work on. And maybe... Did we, did we build that second immigration thingy? Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, I think this is really gonna help us. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna have maybe a little bit more uh, migrants coming in. We do also want to keep it on top of the food problem. I mean, it's not a problem yet, but it could be a problem if we don't if we're not careful. Uh, so I think I might just see if we can make another fishing launch just cover the whole thing in fish i think it's it's really cool fishing is a neat i, I talked about this before that i really like this idea of a mostly naval society this isn't gonna be it probably um but i love to fish and we can improve the boats Oh, stone tools. You know what? Let's um, let's do this. Shift click to to try upgrading the same buildings. Excellent. People think that we're okay. Lovely. I think I'm okay too. I don't know. I don't mean to toot my own horn. I think I'm okay. Let's let's get another tavern. So, we have one tavern that covers most of this place. And then we could get another tavern that covers up here. Um, I don't know where, though. Maybe over there, like this. If we could squeeze another house in there, that would be lovely. But I'm not sure we're going to be able to. Maybe we'll put another production building there. Yeah, this looks good. Um got a little bit of overlap with the other tavern, but I don't think that's bad. Yeah, it's gonna be one tile too thin space to cover that, to, to cover another house. Maybe if we do it... Hmm. Okay, okay, I have an idea. We're gonna put it here. And then we're gonna put an extra house over there. Okay. Yeah, the village is creeping, creeping in. They're coming closer to each other. But that's fine, that's fine. It's really only a, um, a, it was of necessity. I do like the aesthetics though. I like the aesthetics of a separate little sort of, the opposite of a suburb, you know, just a little adjunct village that's sort of dependent on the main town. We still haven't named the town. Um, and, uh, yeah, I would love to hear suggestions for the name because if there's anything that's uh, a positive in Lelling lore, it's that I could spend four hours in a character creation menu and three of them are uh, just me thinking about the name, having, like, anxiety, like, oh, I need to pick the perfect name. Uh, we could also sell some leather. I don't want to oversell the medicinal herbs. Alright, there we go. And you. We have a lot of coal now. Maybe we want to also start capping some stuff.
Mm, some game meat. No, not wood. Uh, let's do some leather. So, if I have two charcoal producers, which I think I do at this point, if I say set this target, will it go for everyone? Let's find out. Ooh, let's do that. Um, we'll say I want 500. <gasps> oh, oh, two people died of old age. Okay, I was worried. I was worried that like two people died or left, but it's old age. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's nice. Um. Okay, okay, it works for all of them. Okay, in that case, let's do like a 750, just in case. Because it does look like we consume over 500 a year. So having a one year supply at all times seems like it's not a bad idea. Um, cool. The stone tools are being eaten in very rapid supply. We really need to figure out what to do with that. Leather? Let's actually look at the tech tree. Are we researching anything or do we just, are we just, we're not actually researching anything. Okay. But you know what? It doesn't need to be researched because we can just sort of go bloop. Okay, good. Good. I do want an archer. Conquered Minor City? <gasps> Whoa! Okay, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of things. Lots of improvements, but let's go into tech. Ironworking. Oh, cool! We just get an extra wood harvesting yield? Okay. Uh, there's a granary. Granary here. Okay, okay! Yeah, we need the granary. Okay, storage depot. Now we're talking. And library for more tech. Nice, okay. Bloop. I guess we gotta get this if we want this. And I'll get this. Brick works. Brick from clay and coal. Oh, jeez. Alright, there we go. Would you like to buy a sheep ranch card? Yes. 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 Accept. Uh, we'll have another sustainability book. Ah, another one. Okay, everything's coming up Lelling's once again. Okay, uh, where was the sustainability required again? We had some processing. Oh, there we go. You and you. Okay, library. Tons of thing for, ooh, can we squeeze it in here? Yes. Also, surrounding. Okay, I was wondering if the language adjacent was adjacent. Uh, but it says surrounding for this. There's some bonuses that are adjacent, so, so I'm, I'm always, you know, interested in that. So, are these food producers or NAR? Who's a food producer? Okay, it does say 10% over them. So, oh... Okay, so the range on the granary is a little small. It's small, but um, I think we should still include everyone. So I would have loved to have it. No, I think the granary is also the storage, right? Yeah, so maybe, maybe over here is still where we're going to put it. Oh, it just excludes that if it's there. Well, if it, it includes it if it's here. Okay. So yeah, sorry to that. Well, we could just destroy this storage. Does destroying storage remove the stuff in it? Ooh. Okay, let's, let's try it. So we have 400. Uh, yeah, I'll buy this card. 
We have 400 this thing. So if we destroy this storage, will things get moved or will they get removed? Moment of truth. Ah! Oh, they're on, they're on the floor. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> that was a tense moment. A tense gamer moment right there. Um, okay, we're gonna put this granary right here. Uh, iron smelter. Oh, also, I do want a storage depot. Store one type of research only. Okay. Oh, or one type of resource. Iron smelter. Well, we can't really do anything with an iron smelter right now. Uh, sheep ranch. Oh, Jesus. She's huge. And it just doesn't fit just by an inch. Hmm. Hmm. Could sheep ranch it over here? It's actually... Very similar to the size of the thing that we created. Huh. It, it doesn't seem like the sheep ranch cares about fertility, so I do kind of want to put it somewhere where it's gonna... Look at that. Either way we turn it, it's not gonna fit. Okay. It is a thousand to claim the province. Mm, but another coal deposit. So... Hmm. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I think I will. I will still claim this. Do the provinces get more expensive the more you grab? Doesn't seem super like it. Okay. And then it's sheep time, baby. How are our houses doing? Oh, these are all full. How's our housing supply? Oh. We might need to build another neighborhood. We could plop a house down here. Wait, does the granary also just store one type of food? I guess we'll find out once it's built. Because maybe then we'll do like granary, granary, granary. Um, but either way, I think we have room for at least one house here. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. If you just press H, it takes you back to the thingy. But yeah, there's one thing that is on my mind a little bit about this game, which is the sort of the only criticism so far, if I was gonna find a criticism. And that is that I'm not sure if there's gonna be enough um, decoration stuff. Games tend to have this ratio. I think oh, we'll just get another wild card. Games tend to have this ratio of, like City Builder specifically, uh, of decoration to mechanics, where you can go from something like Banished, which is the game I was thinking of the other day, um, or, uh, I mean, Banished still looks pretty pretty. You can have basically a game that's fully just mechanics. It's fully about juggling your numbers, juggling the amount of stuff you have, and if you don't, you fail, to just focus on aesthetics. So something like when you just play like in creative mode in a game or where you, uh, some like a game that doesn't even have any mechanics where you just decorate, like Townscaper, and I, I like city builders to be sort of in the middle of that. I want to be able to do aesthetics and I want to also be able to have to worry about, you know, are we going to have enough food and wood and the other resources and balancing stuff. But it seems like this one is a little bit too on the side of only worrying about mechanics and not decorating anything yet. So that's the one thing that's missing for me, is uh, the focus on making things pretty. I would love to make things pretty. Okay, we have a ton of beer. 
We're not actually consuming that much, so we can sell some beer, make a lovely profit with that. Mm, the margins on the beer are quite severe. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay, leather. We still have not found out what to do with the leather. Uh, can be used to make clothes. Well, I think now that we've made the wool, wool stuff, I'm, I'm sure we'll find some kind of tailor that can use leather and wool. Uh, so maybe that'll help. Alright, we'll sell these. Okay, so we're building a bit. It still says no laborers. So do we just have fully taken jobs? Ah, ah! I didn't mean to click that, it just popped. Okay, how big is the storage depot? Oh, perfect. Look at that. We can squeeze it in here. Okay. Is storage depot something I can build? Oh, I, I still need a wild card. Um, I might still build a stockpile here. Or storage yard. Because it kind of fits. But I don't know. Maybe people just completely destroy all their storage yards. And just replace them with depots. With the pots. Um, I definitely want one up here. But yeah. If it's one type of resource. It kind of feels like it's going to be very quickly. Mm, a million... A million depots. But we'll find out. We'll find out how that works out for us. Over here we could have one for stone. Oh, look at all that coal. Okay. Um, bum, 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 bum. Oh my god. The screaming of animals. Oh jeez. The music kicked in. They said, oh, you want to get some tunes? And it's true, I want to get some tunes. They got me. They know me. Uh, okay, we'll make this here. So that the road can also go there. And connect it there. And then I wouldn't mind a granary for these people either. Um, I'll just grab that. Granary. Oh, it doesn't reach the fisher person. I guess we'll put the granary here, honestly work and then I will I will remove this storage yard because it feels like a storage depot for stone It'll fit there perfectly we have 33 children damn uh, iron smelter yeah I think Going for the iron is going to be a good idea. But for now, let's go over here and do the tree stuff. You received Cocoa Breeder. Okay. Allow Cocoa Farmer farming within the... Oh. Nice. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, they're encroaching on my stuff. So I will have to actually buy these sooner rather than later. Because I definitely want the iron. Okay, you know what? I'm spreading. I'm spreading. Oh, shit. Well, that's fine. I'm sure they won't like us too much because of that. Yeah.
But we wanted to test the bridge, and that's what we're gonna do. Um... It's 300 to make a bridge. Okay. We're gonna get to trade soon, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Okay, more immigrants. Still not enough laborers. Where are people... Hmm... Ad hauler, ad delivery man. Unlock resource delivery from this storage to a specified target. Oh. Okay. What resource do we want to store here? I assume food isn't included. Oh no, wine is. Hmm. I mean... I assume... Oh shit, we're out of thing. Okay, these people need not only passion, they're, they're, they're gonna need uh, efficiency or uh, conservation. What? Sustainability, that's the word. That's the word I was looking for. Um, okay. I mean, this is kind of in range of all of these houses. Maybe this should be a uh, coal storage. Or a wood. Let's do wood. No, we'll do this one for wood. No do. So, we're still on like zero laborers. I guess we're building a lot of things at once. But can I not push for laborers? Manually adjust the number of laborers? Okay. I think that's gonna help for a second. Tree count. Well, what's... why... well, who... <laughs> it's not my fault. Oh shit, the money's gone. The money has vanished. Need money, yeah. You don't say. Maybe we'll need another trade thingy. Uh-huh. Oh, we also need to upgrade the guild hall. Maybe we went a little bit wild with buying all those territories. I just am... Um... I was worried. This person is, you know, adjacent to the provinces that we want. So I, 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 I panicked. I panicked. I had a bit of a panic. Okay, it's okay, we'll get to trade soon. So... We can have two cocoa breeders here, which is fun. But first we must invent bridges. Well, invent. We've already invented them. We need to, um... Deal with them. I'm gonna sell another batch of beer. And... What's the priciest thing we have? With stone tools. Furniture is very pricey too. I'm gonna sell a bit of furniture. Cocoa's gonna be pretty pricey. And... Yeah. Coal and wood are dropping in price. They're becoming less and less rele relevant. Okay. Okay, see, now the, the money's coming in. The money has suddenly appeared again. Um... Doo -doo. Also, I'm gonna... Oh, there's a mosquito. 
If you hear clapping noises, it's me hunting mosquitoes. Oh, that one was just above my coffee. I hope it didn't fall in. Well, if you hear me do a spit take, it's because I've drunk a mosquito. Hold on. Can I please see? Hmm. Interesting. Lovely. We're having a normal one over here. Um, delivery target. Said the target store slash market where our source would, would, would be delivered. Oh, so it's not just going to be delivered. Oh, it's to a specified target. Okay, I may have, may have needed to do some more reading that I didn't do. Sorry. Okay, let's get a, let's get a, let's get a wild card. And you know what? Another wild card. How's the sheep going? Kill when reached full capacity. Oh, jeez. They're... Ah, okay. Yeah, I think when full capacity makes the most sense. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay, okay. Let's make that bridge. I promised that bridge half an hour ago, you know? What happens if I build the bridge from here? Ah, that. <gasps> Look at the bridge! That's a pretty bridge. Also, I really appreciate the, the trees leaving when we... when we're building something. Choose resource. Okay, you are gonna have stone. So the hauler is general. The delivery man is specific. All the houses here are full. Okay. We could actually do a delivery man for stone because... Do we have a stone tool crafter? Up here. I think we only have the one. Can we see how many stone tool people we have? I don't think so. Stone tool shop. I think we only have the one. So I wouldn't mind adding another one. Choose resource. Okay, we're gonna choose coal. Um, yep. Our wood is good. Our coal is good. Our herbs are good. Our stone tools are low. So yeah, let's create a stone tool person. Oh, they don't like them. They don't like having a stone tool person. Well, they're gonna have to tough it out. So if I add a delivery man and then target that, I think that's going to be nice. Okay. Alright, I feel like Coco is going to be good for selling. Um, beebidi 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 boop boop boop. Looks like the fertility here is really good, so... People think we're okay. They think we're just okay. Coco breeder. Breeder! And then, let's look at the food. The food is alright. Nobody's storing stuff in the granary. They're still putting it in there. Um, okay. I mean, it's not... It's not terrible. I will gift these people something. Add resource. I will gift you medicinal herbs. Don't die. Here, have medicine instead. Okay. 
We're actually going to give this to everyone. Even these people far away. Could we piss them off? Oh, we can declare friendship too. Um. Yeah, we'll send you a gift first. A gift of medicinal herbs. I don't actually want to send you a citizen. We'll give you 70. And then we'll say... Diplomacy, declare friendship. Nice. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about tensions, it's fine. Oh, the music is popping off again. Oh, did we not sell? Or did this just recover faster? Oh no, we have a fourth one now! I forgot. Increased load! <gasps> Oh, that's over there. Okay, we should definitely do that. Ooh. Oh, it's a bigger upkeep cost, though. Hmm. Ah. Oh, I found something else. A little side inventory. Alright, let's just sell with the, the, the amount of resources that we do have. I would like to sell more medicine. I mean, we gifted it to everyone, which I assume reduces the price. So that was a bit of a mistake, but... Because it's less in demand now. Stone tools. Beer. Oh shit, we have a homelessness problem in the middle of winter. Okay, it's time for houses. noise was scary. Okay. Oh, look at that. We can see the amount of stone we have in there. Not sure I appreciate that super duper much in terms of visibility later on, but you know what? I'm sure it's fine. How big is a granary? Hmm. We could make another fishing hut over here. But honestly, I think we should move into making even more of these. Minimalism. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then Furniture Town. Furniture Town will say shift for everyone. We could add two worker slots to these. Or, you know, two worker slots. One to each. Um, why is the production different? Oh, it's just per season. Okay. It's just like how good it's been doing. Okay. Set delivery target. So we can say delivery to this one. Oh, it has to be storage building or market. Oh. Oh. Okay, so storage yards are not pointless. Can they still take stuff from, from this? Or did I accidentally... No, no, no. They can still stay, take stuff from that. So I'm not 100% on what the storage depot is for if it's a 
meant to be a 100% replacement for storage yards or not? So this allows for cocoa farming within the radius. Now what I want to know is, do I then have to still build farms? Let's see. Oh, I like that I don't actually have to have a square farm. We could just kind of make this the entire farm. Hmm. I might actually leave an extra space. There we go. Well, let's try it out. Oh, no. It still made it squarish into the sea. Okay. That looks a bit silly. But hey, we can make cocoa in there. Okay. Oh, why is it not appealing over there? I was gonna make a, a house over here. It probably makes more sense to add a house over here. Uh, if we would have planned it smart enough to actually be able to build one here. I guess it could be next to the water. But look, there's... We could be, build a trading place here. Ah. Ron left our town homeless. No, not Ron. Listen, it's not my problem. We had a, 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 a sudden increase in, how, in people. We might have to dial back on some of the immigration. It doesn't even say here that somebody did that. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, give me the wild card and... Pig Ranch! I wonder if Pig Ranch gives anything other than just meat. If it gives leather too. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get into some ranching. So this is another sheep ranch. And then a pig ranch. And then... I assume these are also all food, so we could have another granary that's gonna be in range for that. I don't think we can just copy. Oh, we can copy it! Is it gonna use the wild card immediately? Straight away? That would be nice. Oh, see. That's... Interesting. Could put a granary here. Or here, too. Oh. I don't have any good placement ideas for the granaries. Oh, we could have a house here. Oh, there's a bit of... There's a bit of industry over there. I mean, I guess we could just move it out a little bit. Oh, it's still within the range of that industry. Hmm. Well, this one is fine. It's 100% appealing. It's not in range of a tavern, but it should be okay. It's like a little extra house. No, you know what? This is still gonna all be industry. I think that's better. That's a better plan. We have so many houses here and we have tons of space for houses. I think I'm gonna add another house here. And... You know what? Yes, there will be a house here. I've decided, even though it's not the most appealing of locations, it's gonna be a house there. Once again, I seem to have overdone the the amount of stuff we're building at the same time. We should get into the iron and stuff though, too. I just wanted to see, I wanted to find out about the cocoa. The raw cocoa of it all.
I'm really enjoying this game. Wide Shaft. I mean... I was gonna say we all love a Wide Shaft, but I think I made that exact joke last time. Mine with full worker slots gets more productivity. I mean, we seem to have constant... Oh, I did say I wasn't gonna do that again. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, improved shift. There we go. More productivity means more stuff. Uh, okay. Now, what about this? Do we want? Bleh, 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 bleh. A wild card. We should probably train a unit. I'm gonna train an archer. Oh wow, a lot less HP. We could raid unfortified provinces for money. I don't think we want to do that. I don't want to make enemies if, if it's not necessary, you know? Okay, let's trade some more. Could we set up like a constant trade? This seems a bit like we constantly have to fiddle it ourselves. No, 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 no. Mm, what did we say? Oh, sustainability on these, right? Yeah, sustainability on you. You can now vassalize another city with your army. To vassalize another city, click vassalize on the target town hall. Oh. So if I want to vassalize... Oh. We need to unlock foreign relations. Oh shit, I forgot to do stuff again. Okay, Taylor might be able to do stuff with that leather. Automatically, well see, all my questions are answered. Is this gonna be under upgrades? Shrubbery, oh that seems like a decoration. Oh, okay. Cabbages. Um. Mm, mm, ooh. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm just, I'm just flopping around. Um. Potato seeds. Baking. Bread. Wheat flour and heat. Potato into vodka. <gasps> Beekeepers! Okay, I'm, I'm, uh, there's so many things that I want. I wish I could press that. Market, what's the market do? Yes, yes, yes. Supplies anything a household needs within its radius. Ooh. Oh, sorry to this house we just built, but we might have to destroy you. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Okay, well. Oh, it's got a really low appeal over here. I don't know why, though. Hmm. Well, maybe we can move the granary around. It really seems like the granary didn't care that much for... Okay, okay, okay. So... Put one granary over here. It covers those. I did just want to have more fields here though, so that's a bit sad. Mm. Okay, you know what? I have an idea. Sorry to this granary, but you are empty as well, so... Uh, let's make room here. And then close this. Close it. Close it! Oh, there was a button. Uh, remove this granary. Put the market here. 
Storage too far. Oh, because we killed the granary. Okay, that makes sense. And then we're going to remove this road. We're going to put the granary here. Let's see, does it cover... It does not cover that one anymore. That's fine. I just want this granary because it's going to be close to everything. So only these two are currently covered. Honestly, a granary here would do a lot for production. Hmm, I'm indecisive again. Maybe I should have flipped it with the market and stuff. Okay, Taylor. Leather or wool? Yes. Yes. That's what we need. Oh, it needs iron. Okay, okay. Things are going irony. Oh, I didn't even check if the market needed iron. No, it just needs wood. Okay. Oh, look at this. That's so nice. Doo doot. Okay. I think one thing that I also really like is the concept of a game where you're, um, you can kind of decide which base materials you use for different buildings. So for example, you could have a civilization where there's a lot of clay or a lot of wood or a lot of stone. And then you're like, we're going to build our houses out of clay. And that gives certain base properties to the house, like fire resistance and insulation and whatever you're gonna be like we're gonna make our houses out of and then you could have like let's say a roofing material and a base material so you can say our civilization is going to build them out of wood with leather roofs or thatched roofs you know if you have wheat wheat farming they could be like straw roofs um and different types of roofing gives different type of something like different types of insulation Different types of base gives different type of fire resistance and insulation. You know, stuff like that. I think that would be really cool. Um, where you have like a menu where you're essentially selecting what your buildings are made out of. And then you can also just have like per province. You could say like, improve every house in this province to now have this. And you click one button and then they start to work on it. Uh, research completed. Show tech tree. So baking, I think, brick works too, because we need bricks. Okay, oh jeez. Everything is, yeah, is happening at once. So I do think it's time for another big expansion. Our food seems to be okay. Um, our food is good. Our luxuries, I do want more luxuries. And I'm not sure why the, the furniture is happening so slowly. Um, maybe in order to help the furniture makers, we could actually say that into this storage yard, we will deliver, set delivery target. Yeah, deliver wood into this storage yard. And then these guys can just grab it from right here. Mm. And you know what? I'm gonna make two more of these. We have our furniture making guild here. Leave our village is ready to become thicker. <laughs> Thick village.
we basically have like a cocoa plantation here, which I'm not super fan of the look of, but I'm sure we can make it work. Market. Market for this village too. That'll be nice. We have a tavern for this village. We can put a market here. Hmm. Yeah, we'll put it... Uh, we'll put it there. Trading company is going to need... So I think the trading company is one of those good build buildings that you can put between your industry and your living space because it can it can sort of it doesn't need workers and it also doesn't create a negative thingy so you can just put it wherever you have space we're gonna put it here oh geez brickworks are qu is quite expensive we could put brickworks up here Ooh. I do think we might put a storage yard in there. I don't know. Maybe the warehouse building is going to elucidate on some of the problems we're having. Oh, we could buy iron! Just so that we could make our first tailor. Because we probably don't need iron to run the tailor. Iron... Oh, that's iron bar. Oh, jeez. Pricey, pricey. Uh, stone tools. There we go. We've offset the <laughs> the price of the iron. So the tailor could go here. Even though I think our leather mostly lives up here. So maybe we, we, we find a, a better space for the tailor. Maybe over here. It will negatively impact that house, but that house is next to a market and close to a tavern. They need to be happy with what we're providing, you know? They need to deal with it. Why is it saying not enough wood? That's concerning. Storage depot, another tailor, another trading company. I think we're gonna just go for a wild card at this point, because I'm not sure about everything else. We have way too many constructions going on again. So, if I buy this region, are we going to be able to have Coco in the range of this breeder? Because it's a provincial building. So it might make more sense to just have fully Coco around this place. Disease frequency is increased. Oh no, in jungle, disease frequency is increased. I didn't see that. We're still okay with our medicine, though. That's fine. Meats! Okay, sheep ranch, sheep ranch, pig ranch. It doesn't say what it's producing. Oh, this one. Producing wool and... Okay. Okay. Doot doot! Did we build that stone stone place? Stone tools workshop? Yeah, 
yeah, you know what? Let's build. Let's let's grab this, and then let's see if we can actually farm cocoa here. Seven workers. Is that smart? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe we'll do this, and then we'll do another shorter one there. Well, it looks like it can be Coco. Could we have just extended it for the full duration for the full range? I don't know. But we could bridge across here, make some living quarters here. It would be in range of this tavern. And people wouldn't have a tremendously long distance to walk. It wouldn't be in range of the market, but it would be nice. Would you look at that? Um, yeah. Okay, and then I want to put a little storage yard in here. And then I also want to see if a granary affects... Where's granary? Granary? Do you affect this stuff? <gasps> you surely do. Okay. We can't have a granary that does both. Well, we'll just have to have two separate granaries. <laughs> a granary doesn't seem to need any workers. Hold on, let's actually confirm. Is this truth? Yeah, it doesn't need any workers, so it just it just straight up does productivity bonus. Really for the price of just a building. So we're gonna put that here. Oh, the music's over. Oh shit, we've gone over an hour again. Oh my goodness. Time really flies in this. I still have to pack. I'm leaving, um, I'm, I'm going on a trip in about six hours, five hours, and I have to make a thumbnail for this video and pack. I'd put inventory full. Why aren't we collecting coal here? Okay, I'm a bit confused by this storage situation. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we do need to rebuild those uh, storage yards we removed here. There is room here. All right, so that's Coco. We're probably ma mainly gonna use Coco as a... Is Coco luxury? What is Coco? I guess Coco is an unprocessed good. We're gonna have to find a way to deal with that. Oh, I think we're gonna have to move this granary if we wanna put like a trading place here. Uh, okay, that's a thing. That's a thing that we're gonna think about later. Look at all this wheat. We have a lot of wheat. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. Advanced furniture workshop. Well, what's that? Plus 5% furniture export price per advanced furniture workshop in the city. Disallow furniture imports. Oh, so we could really be known for our furniture. I love that. Um, how's our trading? 
Hold on. I want to buy my friend. Nope. Don't buy this again. Uh huh. Congrats on your first advanced building. Build four of the same production buildings to unlock its advanced version. Oh. So, yeah, I think the only thing we have four of is this. Oh no, we only have three. Is that really the first thing? We have four fishermen. We have more than four fishermen, but I guess that's not... It's not like turning something into something else. Auto trade! Oh, jeez. Okay, we're gonna look at that next time. That's too much. Too much thinking. Um, let's just trade some stuff. But yeah, auto trade looks like it's it's gonna be good. Looks like it's exactly the thing I was thinking about. Uh, pottery? Where's my beer? Beer. Yes. And leather. Still have plenty of leather. Have they built the tailor? Oh, we're still in the process of buying that iron, I guess. Oh, cocoa! We want to sell the cocoa. I guess they have no place to store it. The granaries are empty. Oh, look, finally. Finally, food in the granary. It only took this to be full. <laughs> um. Okay. Ooh, tech tree. Deep sea fishing. <gasps> wow. Border protection. Blacksmith. Jeez, so many cool things. Oh, so many cool things. All right, we're gonna do... Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ooh. Way more money from protected provinces. Well... Foreign relation! Okay, we're gonna go for that. And then maybe border protection after that. No, you know what? Let's buy border protection. And then go for it. Ooh! Okay, everything is coming up very... Like... We're, we're, we're learning about foreign relations. How big is the fort? Holy big. Uh, so, nearby provinces. So that means this province and also all the nearby ones. So if we put a fort in here, it will protect all of those too. So our little forest village is actually becoming... Oh, build on choke point. Is this a choke point? I'm not an, uh, sure I understand the lines. This isn't the choke point, is it? This is like the center point. Is this a choke point? This looks like a choke point to me. And I'm gonna build it here. And hope for the best. <laughs> Is that a choke point? I I do kind of want to build it here because it seems kind of central. So maybe... Maybe this tailor, which has just gotten the resources to be built, is going to have to be moved. Or it's just going to be next to the tailor. It's fine. I think I did something. We'll see how this works. Okay, okay, okay. It did work properly, I guess. Look at that beautiful fortification. Lovely. Um, give me a wild card. Give me both wild cards. I'm just sto storing these wild cards like crazy. Okay, I think our next journey is gonna be 
figuring out the trading stuff and getting iron. We're entering the Iron Age <laughs> in, you know, in the Middle Ages. Iron Age, Middle Age. Uh, also, our stone seems to be... Oh, I guess it's not being consumed that much. We're just using it for a lot of building. But we could make another stone boy. Look at this beautiful market. Oh, wow. Wow. I guess we're gonna have to filter some uh, wheat out of there as well. Also, I would move this forester further down. This forester's constantly having trouble with their life. Uh, okay. Yes, let's just, uh, let's get out of the winter and then we'll, um, resume our shenanigans. What do you need? Clay. Oh, that's a lot of clay that you would use. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, maybe we can grab sustainability from somewhere, from this charcoal burner. Ooh, lovely. So we produce 48. Consume 18, 10, 7. Oh no, it's way more consumed. Okay, we need another one of these. Turns out we need another one of these. And the people don't like it when it's nearby. Well, they're gonna have to suffer though. Two houses are gonna have to be unhappy. But they're gonna have to deal with that. Where's the cocoa? Cocoa! Oh, it's not that pricey even, but we can sell a lot of it. That's... that's good. Oh, control click to max buy amount. I didn't... um... I didn't read that. Maybe I should... No, we bought more by accident again! Damn! <laughs> well... <laughs> Shit. I'm not gonna load this one. Um, you know what? Auto trade. Let's let's figure this out now, I guess, because we got time before the winter ends. Um, auto export order. I'm gonna say cocoa. When it is above 200. Yeah, where's Coco listed? It doesn't seem to be in this list. I thought it would be a food or something. Is it a food? Oh no, it's here. It's just a... It's a material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can just export this. Lovely. And how many can we set? I think actually this is this is all we can do right now. That's fine. I'm so angry that I accidentally sold it. I bought it. Accidentally bought it instead of selling it. So Oh Another sustainability book. We're just gonna keep being sustainable. Did I accidentally clone the sustainability book here? Because I clicked on it, it went into my inventory, but it also stayed in there. What's up with you? Freezing? Why are you freezing? You're not homeless. Are we out of coal? Oh shit. We're out of coal. Hehehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of coal. <laughs>
Wall. So where's this wall gonna be built? Oh, in there. Okay. Oh, jeez. First house level five. Nice. Heh 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 heh. I'm screwed. Heh heh heh. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna ignore that for now. We're gonna make another one of these. Oh, that can actually work over there. But I would like to put it inside. Because yeah, you're going there. Ooh, how much brick do we have? Ah. So we finally have brick. Your tools count is low. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh. Okay, everything is exploding. Another fort. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Um, more sustainability here. Doo doot. So we can build an embassy. Here? Hi. I want to construct an embassy in your house. You have nice space? Oh, I can't demolish things. <laughs> Interesting. You have space? Space? Space. I don't want the, the AI to put embassies in my house, though. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. That, that looked like a lot of money. Sorry. Okay, we're selling, not buying. <laughs> Sell. Do not buy. Sell. Oh, beautiful town hall level three. Oh, lovely. Not kidnap. Unlocked card shop. Hold on. Companies act. Oh, 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 hold on. Ah, ah, stop screaming at me. Stop shouting. I got in trouble. I got in trouble. Okay, so embassies can actually go away too. Okay, winter is over. Okay, this is where we're gonna wrap up this one. And uh, we will go back to resolving our sudden lack of coal. Well, that'll help. And creating iron and doing all of that. It seems like that's gonna go hand in hand as a thing. And uh, upgrading some more houses to the Middle Ages. We finally upgraded this thing. I, I, oh, look at how pretty. Oh, can you hide the UI in this game? Mm, the key that I thought would work did not work. And I'm scared of pressing keys. Okay, we'll see if I find that key in between videos as well. Um, yeah, I hope, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're still enjoying this series. We're doing pretty well in terms of population. I don't know if that's the only thing that exists in terms of options, but uh, we're gonna continue playing and then we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I hope you're having a lovely time. I hope you're enjoying this series. I'm gonna keep doing it. So if you would like to stay in touch with that, go ahead and subscribe and click the bell. And if you like this video, you can do all the things that you do when you like the video. I also do other videos. I do other games. Those are city builders, early access games, that kind of stuff. And you can also follow me on Twitch, which you can find in the description. On Twitch, we play a bigger variety of games as well. So there's all sorts of stuff happening. So I will see you around. Have a nice rest of your life. Goodbye.